Snest Drunk. All right, how you doing, everyone? This is the Snest Drunk's first Let's Play series thing. Uh, I know I already did Star Fox for a drunk video, and I already I already did a review on it, but. Um, for the first uh, Let's Play, I thought I'd do something very simple that I'm very, very, very familiar with. I've played this game a thousand times, at least. And uh, I know I was talking about doing Super Ghouls and Ghosts uh, with my girlfriend, but we want to do that one together, and our schedules have been kind of kind of crazy lately. Um, her dog had to have spinal surgery, so she's at home taking care of him right now. So anyway, I'm going to start with Star Fox. So I'm going to start with the, uh, love. Well, I like this little creepy part of the music here coming up. It's very, it's very ambient. Ambience. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. I wanted to, um, go through this game one at a t one level at a time. Let's do the whole thing. Let's start with the middle. Uh, I will be doing the top and bottom uh, paths went in order. I'm going to do the first thing here, first easiest one here. And this, believe me, this middle path, at least for me, is very, very easy. Starfox Chief, our last resort is to counterattack Venom. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, and then there's this. Uh, you know, wait a second here. Emergency, emergency. Okay, what the heck does he say at, right before prepare for launch? It's like, knives. Does anybody know? I, like, I've never heard anybody say what that... Like, does it say in the instruction book? Is anybody Can anybody understand that? Is it just me? I don't know. Maybe it's just gibberish, just like what these guys are talking right now. Anyway. Um... Yeah, that opening sequence, it always bothered me that you could not skip that. You, you could not skip that. Anyway, yeah, what you do is you fly through this one, you fly through this one, very simple. Fly through these first four things here. And you get an upgrade for your weapon right off the bat, which makes you that much closer to being super overpowered. You're only one weapon upgrade away from being absurdly overpowered. All you really need is that weapon and it's you can freaking blow up anything pretty much with just a few hits. Um, anyway, yeah, that that's that opening sequence, I was doing some thinking earlier. That I sequence is about, what, 15 seconds long? And considering I've played this game about oh my god, like 500 times, if you multiply that was it 15 times 500 is something like 7,500 or something like that? It's That's that's 7,500 seconds or uh, about 125 minutes I will never get back. To about two hours of my life I will never get back. Do a little stylish roll there. Do a barrel roll. We're a game ahead of that reference. But let's get... You fly out far over to the right here you get a little power up here. So that's kind of nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I always like the nice touch here of these uh, the construction worker robots like building the stage as it's going. I thought that was makes makes the universe here feel lived in, like they're still working on it. Who knows where this guy's going? And obviously, they're not very robust robots. If only a few laser blasts make them explode. And Obliterate with no trace. And get this guy right here, which pretty much not it doesn't break this level, but it makes it a lot more plain. Because that guy was supposed to drop tons of enemies in front of you, but if you kill it right as it arrives, then you just fast forward right to this guy doing a Ric Flair flop right here. Just stop and fall right in front of you. Right in its face. Anyway. We are at uh, full power, as full powered as we can be for the first boss of the first level. <laughs> I always like this guy gets in front of you, turns around, and then just starts going backwards in front of you. 
and all you have to do is just sit here and pound away. None of these freaking ships will touch you because they'll fly right into your laser fire most of the time. And just like that, everything's off. Let's get those out of the way. Stylish little roll there. Oops, got clipped. <laughs> And just like that, he is done. Let's zoom into the explosion, because that's always a great idea. And I always do that after every... <laughs> try and do that after every level. I'll probably forget. That's something I used to do when I was a kid. Just stupid. <clears throat> so now here comes another confusing part of the game that I never totally figured out. The percentage here. Okay, I got 100%, but I know I missed some enemies. I'm not sure what that percentage pertains to. I always thought it was if you killed every enemy in the in the th in the level, but it's it's sometimes especially on the later levels, it's clear that I missed some stuff, but I still get 100%. So I I don't know what 100% means, I guess is what I'm saying. If anybody out there knows what it, how to get 100% and what prevents you from getting 100% let me know, because I sure as hell don't know. Seems like a total crapshoot. Anyway, I love these. Here, here we're in the asteroid belt. I love these space levels where you're in the cockpit. Because this is, you know, I loved Star Wars as a kid. And I loved, you know, the, the, the scene in the first Star Wars where Luke takes the commands and they're, they're fighting off those TIE fighters. And, I, and this is like that, but in video game form. I always love that. Oh no, here come the asteroids. They're kind of, sort of, in the way. And of course, Slippy needs fucking help. When doesn't he need help? God, it's, it's no wonder he became such a running gag. I mean, he was a joke even before Star Fox 64. It was absurd. These guys are so annoying, but they always give rings. At least the second one does. There you go. That's so you want to shoot them. Oh no, here comes the asteroids. All I have to do is fly very steadily and barely move to the left and shoot one asteroid and the threat is over. Yeah, not exactly the hardest part of the game. <coughs> oh, how did I miss that freaking? I missed that. Oh, because I already had five, that's right. All right, now we pick up. The absurdly overpowered weapon that will make mincemeat of pretty much any enemy. Okay, in this part of the level, it is possible, there is a trick to get to the black hole. I won't be doing that this time, but I would like to go back on this Let's Play and uh, and show you, show you guys how that's done. Whoa, that was not cool. Whoop, look out. Shit, that was close. But yeah, you, you basically what you have to do is get really close, as close as you can to those windmill asteroid things, blow them up. I think there's three of them, or two or three of them. You get as close as you can, blow up the middle one, and then you see what looks like a, an asteroid with like a troll face on it. I'm not even kidding. It looks just like a troll face. Like it's a smiling asteroid. And... You blow it up, and that will unlock. It'll send you. You fly right into it, uh, into the black hole it leaves, and you go to the black hole, and that allows you to warp to the next levels. Jesus, I'm having some trouble here, flying. I think I'm at the boss now, though. Finally. Anyway, yeah, I'll probably be showing that. Whoa! I'm losing my mind here. Wow, I suck. Holy shit. I was doing so well too. Oh man, I'm getting the alarms and everything. Oh god, I'm getting careless. Getting careless! <laughs> Alright, this boss is very straightforward. Again, he's flying backwards as I fly towards him, which I'll never. That always gets. Is, makes me laugh. Alright, there we go. We're. Just get rid of the lasers. Oh no, he's got lasers! He's going to detach his front part, you get out of the way, he shoots missiles at you, shoots plasma balls at you, you shoot him in the middle and then it's just like that, it's over. Simple, simple dimple. Anyway, 
I think that about wraps it up for the first uh, episode here of uh, Let's SNES Drunk Plays Star Fox. Let's see what percentage I get here, and then we'll see you next time. Again, I took a shitload of damage there, which means I shouldn't get 100%. And I sure as hell didn't get every enemy. And I got 100%. Whatever. I don't I don't know what it means. How to... What it, whatever. I'll see you next time. You guys take care. Have a great rest of your day.